morning, everybody, and welcome back to Quattro Quarantine's Workout. We had a fantastic session with Joanna on Monday, and we had some great feedback. And we're certainly not going to disappoint you guys today. We've got the super talented Josie Kine with us, and she's going to be taking us through some body conditioning and handstand drills. So I'm going to pass you over to Jodie. You're in great hands. Enjoy. Make sure you take lots of photos and hashtag QQW. Hi everyone, welcome to our session. We've got um, two helpers with us today. We've got Lissy Cabrera from City Birmingham. Hi Lissy. And we've got Ruby, the ambassador of Quattro um, with us from Plymouth. So they're gonna guide us through the exercises so that everyone knows what they're doing, okay? We're gonna try and make different variations of the exercises so that you all know what you're doing. All right, we're gonna do a warm up, a stretch, some handstand drills, but we're not actually gonna do a handstand guys because for me, it's about quality, all right? And really spending time on these exercises will improve our handstand and hopefully impress our coaches when we're back in the gym, okay? So it's something that you can take away from the session and keep working on every day. If we work on our alignment and our handstand positions every day, we'll hopefully get better at them, okay? Don't worry if you need to have a little rest in between, all right? We'll do the exercises a couple of times just so that you're really clear of what you've got to work on. Um, obviously, Ruby and... Lissy are fantastic gymnasts and they're going to show us great demonstrations as well. All right, so girls, we're going to get started and we're going to do a nice warm up. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is just jogging on the spot for 30 seconds. OK, so when I start my time, we're going to go for 30 seconds, guys. All right, it's really simple to start with. OK, we really want to concentrate on pumping those arms and being light on our feet. We don't want to make much noise in our house. Our mum and dad don't want to hear us. OK, ready? Three, two, one, go. So we're jogging, that's it, Lissy, good. If we go, Rubes, that's it. Yep, so everyone, if you're struggling and you might have a little injury, then you can just lift your knees. So Ruby, can you just slow that down and lift the knees singly for me? So don't jump, lift, yep, perfect. So high knees, pumping those arms. That's it, keep going. We've got 10 more seconds, guys. We want to get that heart rate up. We want to get really, really warm. All right, keep pumping those arms, guys. Good. Two, one, and stop. Excellent. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Everyone knows jumping jacks. We're gonna jump into our big star shape and then back up, back with our legs together. Ruby's gonna show us an easier version again. She's gonna step the arm and the leg out to the side. Okay, ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Big jumps, Lissy. Nice straight arms, guys. And look at her ankles. She's pushing through her toes. Yeah, it's really co concentrating on that contact time off the floor. So nice, quick, 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 quick. Excellent. So we should be starting to breathe a little bit heavier now, guys. Rubes, excellent. She's still pointing those toes off the floor every time. So it's the same action. We've got 10 seconds, guys. Keep working hard. Really tight knees as well, girls. We don't want to be soggy. We want to be on tight, 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 and stop. Very good. All right, have a little breather. Next thing we're going to do is face the wall. We're going to do some releves, okay? So fingertips on the wall. Try not to lean on the wall, guys. We want to keep our posture nice and straight with a nice, tight body. And we're going to go right up to our tiptoes, like Lissy and Ruby. Squeeze those ankles, and then come back down. Notice Lissy and Ruby have got their tummies in and their hips tucked under, okay? 30 seconds. Everybody ready? And off we go. Up onto our tiptoes and down. Excellent. Nice and controlled. I don't want it too fast. I want the whole movement, guys. So we're working those ankles, getting that stability. Yeah, this will really help our ballet teachers as well because they'll see that really high releve and be happy with our spins. So keep going. Push up tall. Tummy buttons. Try and put your belly buttons on your spine. So that posture is excellent. Really good, girls. Keep going, we're nearly on 30 seconds, and stop. Very good, all right. Next exercise, you want to be by your sofa, guys. Okay, so Lissy, watch in. We're gonna have our arms starting by our bottoms, and then when we go to our squat, we're gonna just touch the, what, the stool or whatever, and we're gonna go back up. Okay, so it's a bit like our landing position. If you can't hold it just above, you can sit on the chair, Okay, so Lucy, go down again for me and sit down, sit down and then stand up. Okay, it's a slightly easier version. Okay, but if you can really work those glutes and those quads so you're just staying above and then standing back up. And we're going to try and do that 30 seconds. Is everybody ready? Good posture. 
and three, two, one, go. So we're going down and up. Excellent. Keep moving. Try and keep that rhythm nice and smooth. What we want to think about, boys and girls, is not letting our knees touch each other. We want to pull our knees out and keep our knees going in line with our toes. So Lissy and Ruby are doing excellent. We've got two different views there. But you can see Ruby is not letting her knees turn inwards. Yeah, it's all in a straight line, which is excellent. So it's not about just doing, doing it at speed. It's nice and controlled. And stop. So we should have got those legs a little bit warmer now. Okay, the next one we're going to do is our step lunge. So again, we're going to watch Lissy. She's going to stand sideways on for it. She's going to go down to a lunge and then she's going to push hard off that leg and point. And then she's going to go to the other leg. Okay, so she's going to go down and push. So this is really good for all our takeoff. Notice her toe is really, really pointing, girls and boys. And don't forget, knees in a straight line for us. Okay, we don't want any wiggly worms. All right, ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. So we're going down and push and point. Excellent. Push and point. So we can do this with a bit more pace, girls. So a bit quicker. Push and point. That's it. So we're getting that heart rate moving. Excellent. Push and point. Really good. Push and point. So this is really good for our um, takeoffs, guys. Yeah. So our round offs, our leaps. Okay. Point. Push that knee as well. We've got five seconds. We should be feeling those legs burn now, guys. Notice that Ruby and um, Lissy are doing it with a really good posture. And stop. Fabulous. All right, so our last little bit of our warm up, we're going to go to front support and we're going to do our mountain climbers. Sideways on for Melissa. Yeah. Okay, we're going to run our knees and we're going to try and get our knees as high as we can. Okay, and touching our feet as close to our hands as possible. So, Lissy, can you just demonstrate? Ruby, go a little bit more side on for me. Perfect, Lissy. Okay, Ruby, if you go sideways on, if you're struggling to go fast and you're struggling, that's okay. So, we're going to step the foot in and back out, Rubes. So, we step. Touch the floor and back so slower. That's it. So touch and back. So she doesn't keep moving as fast as, fast as Lissy. It's a little bit of slower pace. All right, everybody. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So Lissy's really fast. She's pushing herself as hard as she can. Ruby's doing it a little bit more controlled. So she's tapping the floor every time, but she's really holding that posture. We don't want bottom sticking up in the air. But hold that like, like you've got a cup of coffee on your bottoms, okay, or your backs. So it doesn't fall off. That's excellent. 10 more seconds. Really good, girls. Should be feeling those arms working and those legs working and your core working now. So we've got every muscle working and stop. Fabulous. Okay, if you need a quick drink at any point, guys, have a little sip of water, all right? Um, and we'll move into our next drill. So... We obviously got to keep practicing our running drills while we're not in the gym, okay? So a really simple exercise that I really like is really focusing on the arms. So we're gonna watch Lissy for a second. She's got her arms bent to 90 degrees and she's gonna pull her arms all the way back and all the way forward. So she see she's pulling her elbow right up to the ceiling and right up in front, but her body is staying really square, okay? And then she's gonna try and speed that up a little bit when I say, a little bit quicker. Fantastic. Keep going, Lissy. Yeah, faster, 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 faster. So she'll start to feel her bum bounce off the floor. Okay, if her arms are really pumping. So we're just focusing, relax, Lissy. So we're just focusing on those arms, guys. And they're really, really important to keep them nice and bent. And you'll feel the back of your arm working. And that's our tricep. Okay, we want to feel that muscle taking part in this activity. Okay, is everyone ready? We're going to try and do this for 30, well, I'm, no, we're going to do it slow to start with, and then we're going to speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up as fast as we can, 10 seconds, and then we're going to rest. Okay, arms ready then. So sitting up nice and tall, and nice and slow to start with. Move those arms, so it's just a running motion. Keeping your posture, so our belly buttons are in. Excellent, Ruby and Lissy. Keep the arms bent, and let's go a little bit faster now. Just a little bit faster. That's it, so there's a smooth action. Notice her shoulders aren't swinging from side to side. And let's go a little bit quicker. Go a little bit quicker, little bit quicker, little bit quicker. And now let's pump those arms for five, four, quicker, quicker, quicker. Three, bounce, bounce, bounce. Two, one, and relax. Really good job. So this is a great exercise 
boys and girls, especially if you've got an injury and you can't use your legs as much, you can really still concentrate on those arms. And it's really going to help us when we go back into the gym and do our vaulting. So we're going to do that exercise one more time. So I think it's a really good exercise and it might need a little bit of work from everybody. All right, everybody sitting up straight, bend those arms to 90 degrees and let's go forwards and backwards. Good, forwards and backwards, keep going. Good, and now let's go a little bit quicker. Good, and a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. And now let's pump as hard as we can for 10, nine, eight, go on, go on, go on, seven, six, push those, five, four, keep going, keep going, three, two, one, very good. Now you should feel your arms, your arms should have been burning on that. Was that quite hard, girls, for your arms? Yeah, and you can make it harder by doing it with weights on your wrists also, okay? So we're really strengthening those arms. Right, so we're going to take it to a little bit of a stretch now. So can we stand up, girls, in stra straddle stand for me? You can face the camera to start with. And all we're going to do is simple circles with our arms. So swinging them around our body, behind. Yeah, that's it. A little bit of pace just to get those both arms lifted for me. Keep a bit faster. That's it. All the way by our ears because we're going to be focusing on our arms by our ears today. And let's circle them forwards. Perfect. And now we're going to have a little challenge. We're going to see if we can have one arm going forwards and one arm going backwards. Forwards and backwards. Yeah, perfect. Good. Come on, Rubes. Get that coordination. There you go. And try and go a little bit faster, guys. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. And now let's change the direction so one goes the other way. See if we can do that as well. That's it. A bit trickier one way than the other way. Good. So we're getting those shoulders really, really warm now, which is really important because we're going to do our handstand drills. OK, now what we're going to do, if we're watching Lissy, we're going to go down, put our hands on the floor and we're going to swing our, our hands in between our legs. So we go really fold and then we're going to swing our arms up, but leaving our head down. So we're opening our shoulders, fold again, and then we're going to take our arms out to a T position. Yeah. And then back down again. OK, we're going to try and do that 10 times, girls. So see Lissy, she's going in between her legs and she's really folding to almost make herself like a pancake. And then she comes out to a T position with her arms wide, okay? Are we ready? And let's go, swing in and up and swing in and out. That's one and two, fold and yep. And three, good, and four. Let's work the shoulders and five and six. Very good, and seven and eight and nine and on the tenth one we're going to hold our legs our hands into our legs chest down let's see and pull your leg pull your, put your hands either side of your legs so you can really pull your chest through so you can see lissy lissy can you stand sideways on for me ruth put your hands through your legs yeah, and pull, pull your chest. So see, this is squash. So this can represent our straddle levers to handstand, our shoulders on bars, our endos on bars, okay? Our straddle jumps, we really want this flexibility. It's stretching our hamstrings as well. So that's great. Well done, girls. Hold it there for five. Really important we hold our stretchers. Four, three, no jigging around. Two, one. Now what I want us to do is walk our feet together. Perfect. And we're going to put our hands as far behind our feet as possible. And again, we're making that pancake. Yeah, so there's no gaps between our chest and our knees. Fabulous. Keep holding for five. Keep pulling. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go down to a squat position. Keep our feet flat to the floor. So our aim, well done, Lissy. Um, Rubes, can you just drop your camera down a little bit so I can see your feet? If you're struggling, guys, to hold it without holding your hands, just grab something in front of you because what I really want you to do is make sure your knees are going over your toes here to stretch your Achilles. Because when we're doing our vaulting and our tumbling when we go back, we want our feet to still have that flexibility. And if we can't do this exercise, it's something that we can really practice on because if we land a little bit funny or short, we want our feet to not get injured. Okay, so let's just keep holding that for five four, three, two, one. Now we're going to put our hands on the floor and we're going to turn our toes over. Ankle stretch the other way. So turn our feet over. Perfect. Now, uh, Lissy, can you put your knees against your stool, please? Yeah. So guys, a really good way of making sure you're stretching and taking the weight 
off your hands a little bit is pushing her, sitting her knees onto the stool. Please concentrate on your heels being together. We don't want them pulling apart because then it's stretching the wrong part of our ankle. We want to stretch the front of our ankle. Don't just sit on those bent, scrunched up knees, toes, sorry. We want them to be really pushing our heels forward just like Lucy and Ruby, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, turn our feet back again for me, guys. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our ankles and we're gonna try and straighten our legs without falling over. So stand all the way up and pull, 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 pull. Excellent, and back down to your squat. Try not to fall over and try and keep those heels flat. If you need to balance, that's fine. And let's grab our ankles again and pull our chest to our thighs. Hold it there. Very good. And we're gonna do that one more time. So down we go. This is really good for our ankles and our hamstrings. So down, really concentrate on that control. And let's grab our ankles again and pull. Pull, 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 pull for five. Pull as hard as you can, girls. Four, you stretch yourselves. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, now we're gonna go into a little bit of our stretch for our split. So we're gonna go into a sideways lunge, like this, see? Perfect. Um, we're gonna be sideways, Rubes. Yeah, just turn to the side for me, Ruby. Perfect. Okay, so we, our aim is to have our foot flat. But as you can see, this is on her ankle. If you can't, that's okay, go onto your toe. But if you can have your foot flat, again, it's really good for our ankles to stretch. So the outside leg is really straight. Rubes, can you just turn around and do it the other way so I can see a different angle? So your leg's facing me. Yeah. So you can see the outside leg straight. So we're really getting a good stretch in that groin. Now I want to flex your toe up, girls. Make sure your knees point into the ceiling, okay? This is really gonna help our straddle jumps to so make sure those hips are tucked under, okay? And your knee is really tight. Perfect, let's hold that for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna turn and we're gonna go into a stretchy lunge. So we're gonna put our hands on our knee and we're gonna keep that back knee off the floor and push it really, really straight. So it's a really tough exercise. If you're struggling, Ruth, put your hands on the floor for me. Yeah, and you can lean forwards a little bit, but she's still getting that back thigh stretch, okay? So she's pushing that back knee, Glamour, push it a bit tighter for me. And then you're aiming to get like Lissy. And if you're really, really good, we can take our arms off the leg, Lissy, and balance there. Let's hold that for arms out to the side like you would for your leaps. Perfect. Five, squeeze that back knee, guys. Four, hold it there. Don't give up. Three, two, one. And let's go back to our side lunge. So rotate back round. Make sure that knee's up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna switch it over to the other side. Perfect. Yep, so now you can see Ruby one way. So she's trying to get that heel down to the floor. She's using the fingers to balance a little bit, but really concentrating guys. We don't want bottom sticking out. So listen, just stick your bum out for me. Yeah, we don't want to see it sticking out. Okay, so now tip it under for me and pull that knee and that toe up to the ceiling. Excellent. And then what we want to do guys is flex our toe. So we're getting a deeper stretch into that hamstring for me. So pull that toe right up to your shoulder. Yeah, pull it, pull it, pull it. Let's hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Point the toe again and we're going to rotate round. Rubes, can you show the easier version again for me, please? So Lissy's hands are on her, her knee. The back knee's top tight and notice Lissy's toe is beautifully pointed okay and if your toe is beautifully pointed boys and girls your toes are coming off the floor yeah so her big toe and her little toes are really pointing and curling up to the ceiling fabulous and squeeze that back knee let's hold that for five Lissy arms out for me pull back pull back four three think about your leaps boys and girls two one and back to the side stretch for me rotate round Brilliant, okay. Now I want you to sit in straddle sit for me. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a Japana, but we're gonna, Lissy, can you just squirt, squish, squish back a bit? Yeah. So we're gonna put our elbows under our knees. So it's a different version of our Japana. We want to have a little bit narrow legs and notice, Lissy, bend your legs a le second for me. So this is how you'll start. Rubes, you're just gonna do a normal Japana for me. So you can put your chest to the floor, arms to your ears. 
Yeah. So you could, if you can't get to that position, guys, hold that position where you can possibly get it. If you hold your stretch for more than 30 seconds, you will get more flexible. If you fidget and you move around, it won't help. Okay. So really concentrate when you're practicing on your own, hold the position for as long as possible. Now, listen, push those legs straight for me. This is what I'm looking for. And again, this is going to help us with our shoulders with our straddle levers to handstand, our straddle jumps, okay, our side leaps. Push those legs hard as you can. We're gonna hold that for 10, good rubes, nine, keep squeezing, eight, seven, push those knees harder, five, Try make sure those heels aren't on the floor, four, three, two, one. Well done, and come out. Give those legs a little bit of a shake for me. Brilliant. Okay, we've just got one more thing to do now before we get into our core and our handstand work we've got to stretch our wrists and make sure our wrists are nice and warm so we're going to go on to all fours face the camera for me Lucy please and what we're going to do is some little exercises to keep these muscles all really strong okay because we've got lots of bones in here and we want to protect them from when we get back to the gym so Lucy's going to push up onto her fingers push up and down yeah and push up and down excellent we're going to do that 10 times guys all right and it's really important that we have strong wrists while we're doing it and we're doing it on all fours so it's a nice easy position to be in ready rubes just drop your camera down a little bit so we can see your hands as well that's it thank you all right everybody ready then when we're in this position tummy's in so we're back to really flat like a table and one, up and down. Two, up and down. Really strong hands. Up, three, push and down. Four and down. Five and down. And six and down. Seven and down. Eight and down. Nine and down and 10. Excellent. And there's lots of different variations you can do with that, guys. So you can have a little play with that on your own time. Okay, so I want everybody to have a quick drink if you need one. And then we're going to get our wristbands ready for our core work, okay? We're going to be ready, lying on our backs, okay? And what I want you to really try and do is put your wristbands in between your shoulders. So if you watch Lissy, yeah, she's lying down nice and flat. Uh, Lissy, do you think... Could you move your camera a little bit to... So I can see your whole body, just to go to the right a little bit. Rubes is good, I think. So, well, this is just sort of a camera. We're gonna put our wristbands between our shoulder and our ear, okay? And we, we want to concentrate on this position for the whole time we're doing these handstand exercises. That's it, this, that's better. So she's got really straight elbows. And now she can really focus on squeezing the wristband between her shoulder and her ear, okay? And this is really stretched, Rubes is gonna do a slightly easier version. She's gonna have her hands just, yep, relax a second, Rubes, lie down. She's gonna have her fingers just resting on her knees. Now it's a really good place to start. See if they can get that, you can get your fingers higher up onto your knees. So we're gonna lift up, Rubes, up, 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 up as high as we can to that dish position and back down, okay? So she's trying to get her hands as high as possible. Lissy is doing it in a super shape, okay? And she's lifting up to her dish position, beautiful legs and feet, and back down. Excellent, okay? So we're gonna do this 10 times, guys, and it will challenge your core. Don't worry if you need to stop and rest, go to where you can. And it's always good, guys, if you have a little pen and paper, you could write down the number that you can get to, and then next time you can try and beat it, because you then get stronger and you'll be able to push yourself because you need that self-motivation at this moment in time. Everybody, beautiful legs and feet then. I wish I could see everyone's legs and feet. <laughs> Ready, and let's go up to that dish. Squeeze, and slowly lower. Good, so this time we're gonna snap a little bit quicker into that dish and hold that position and then lower down, okay? So it's a bit like our core back action. Ready, and snap fast. Hold that dish and lower, excellent. So notice the backs are really flat to the floor. We've not got an arch in our back. And number three, up we go. Squeeze that dish and lower, super. Squeeze those ears and up to dish for number four, up and lower and five. Up we go to that dish and lower, very good. And six, squeeze. 
Notice those legs and feet are beautifully stretched and lower. Well done, girls. And seven, you should feel your core working now. And lower. And eight, drop your hands down if you need to halfway through. And lower to Ruby's easier exercise. And nine, squeeze. And lower. And we're going to see if we can hold this, this shape for 10 seconds this time. So it's going to be tough now because we've already done 10 exercises before. But we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. And I want to see who's getting a good picture of that beautiful shape, just like Lucy and Ruby. Okay, so parents on the button, ready to get that shape. And snap to that dish. And hold for 10, 9, squeeze as hard as you can, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep squeezing, 3, imagine someone's pulling your feet apart, 2, 1, and lower. Super. Turn to the side now, so face the camera, Lissy and Rube, please. So you're going to only have the, yeah, one in, Lissy, take the other one out. Yeah, so she's going to put the, which way are you lying, hand on in front of her chest. Okay, but her straight arm, the wristband is still between the shoulder and the ear. The shoulder, I really want you to concentrate on staying open for me. Squeeze those knees and feet. And Lissy, I want you to push your side. I don't want to see any gap between your hip and your belly. Oh, yes, there you go. So when you're lying, boys and girls, make sure everything's flat to the floor. Okay, you're not lying in an arch. Okay, everything's nice and flat. And what I want you to think about is getting your chest in and pushing your hips forwards. We're going to do exactly the same. We're going to snap up to that dish and slowly lower back down. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Rubes, what you can do is bend your arm, put it over your shoulder and put your hand in front of you. OK, yeah. So it makes it a little bit easier and you can push up and down. It will help your shape. Boys and girls, you could also do this lying against the sofa because some of you may struggle to keep your hips in a straight line. If you lie against the wall or a sofa, you won't let your hips tip out, okay? So it's a really good way of helping. All right, ready? And snap one, up we go. And lower, excellent. And two, snap up fast. And lower. And three, snap. Who's high? Who's really pulling that shoulder and those legs off the floor? And lower. And four, up fast. And lower. And five, up fast, keep that hip pushed into the floor, Lissy, and lower. And six, up we go, on my count, don't rush, and lower. And seven, up we go, and lower. And eight, up high, and lower. And nine, up high, and lower. And this one, remember guys, we're holding at the top. Really push yourself to your maximum for 10 seconds. And up we go. One, two, very good. Three, keep pulling four, five, keep pulling six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower. Super. Roll over to your bellies, both um, wristbands in our ears again. Bit tricky to get in, but when we get there, it's good. Okay, when we're lying on our bellies, make sure those knees are pushed off the floor. So those knees shouldn't be touching the floor at all in this exercise. And like we saw in the stretch, those toes pointing up to the ceiling. And we're gonna lift up to that arch. And it's gonna be a big arch. Ready? Hiding those ears for me, Rubes. Yeah. Um, you, if you're struggling with this, guys, then you can just do your top half or your bottom half. But I think we can try and lift as high as we can on this one. Ready? And up one. Pull up and lower. Very good. Keep those knees off the floor. And two, up as high as you can and lower. Now, I didn't mention your head position, but I'm relating this to our bar work. So I want those heads looking at your fingers for me. Three, up we go. Big, big, big and lower. And four, up we go as high as we can and lower. And five, pull, pull, pull and lower. And six, big as we can, and lower. And seven, pull, pull, pull. Should feel it in your back now, and lower. And eight, keep squeezing those knees, and lower. And nine, and lower. And this one, guys, remember, it's that photo opportunity. Big arch, so legs and arms as high as you can, because this is the arch that we need in our giant swings. Yeah, and up we go. 
How you can? Who's got the straightest legs? One, two, pull, 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 girls. Three, four, open those shoulders. Five, six, pull, pull, pull. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good. Okay, guys, notice the speed of what we're doing it. If we were doing it really quick, it would probably be a little bit easier, but these girls even finding this challenging, even though they're really good at gymnastics because of the control they're doing with it. So let's turn to our other side for me, um, guys. Yeah, Lissy, face the camera again, just swizzle yourself around. Perfect. Rubes, have you got a wall that you could lie against to just show that, like what I mentioned? Could you just put your back against the wall? All right, so Lissy, push that side into the floor. Yeah. That's it, Rubes, perfect. So she's lying flat against the wall now so her hips can't rock. Ready, and one. Wristband still in the shoulder, both arms and legs, and lower. And two, up we go as high as we can, and lower. And three, Rubes, just drop your camera down a little bit for me, and lower, and four, up we go as high as we can and lower. Try and get those heels together as well for Melissa. And five, up, 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 high as we can and lower. Good, Rubes. And six, pull, pull, pull and lower. And seven, high as we can and lower. And eight, big and lower. Nine and lower. And 10, and we're gonna hold this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pull girls, eight, nine, 10, and lower, good. Okay, if you need a quick drink, have one now. I'm gonna have one. Now we're gonna go into a little bit more of a handstand shaping. So notice we haven't done a handstand yet. We don't need to, we need to make sure we're as strong as possible before we do a handstand. So the wristbands are gonna stay tucked in. And our first exercise, we're gonna line our back and we're gonna push uh, sideways for me, let's say, yeah. We're gonna bend our knees because lie flat for me again, let's see, but just relax. So notice Lissy's back now, okay? This is a really common mistake. And it's something that we don't want to happen when we're in handstand because our handstand will lose lots of marks. Okay, so our first focus is on that. So Liz is going to bend her knees to make it a little bit easier. And she can turn her hips under. So she can almost lift her hips slightly off the floor. Okay, rotating her hips. And she's got her hands against the wall. Don't worry if you haven't got a wall right now. But she's pushing against that wall. Okay, and she's hiding those ears. And we're going to hold this shape, guys, for 30 seconds. Relax a second, this thing. We're gonna hold this shape for 30 seconds as hard as we can. Okay, really pushing the back into the floor and squeezing our wristbands into our ears. And if you're squeezing hard enough, you hopefully won't be able to hear me. Yeah, because you'll be doing that exercise perfectly. If you find that really easy, Ruby's gonna stay with bent legs, but Liz is gonna straighten her legs out to try and get to a full extension. Because if we can lie down in that beautiful shape, we've got more chance of being able to Go upside down. All right, ready everybody. Everybody hopefully is there now. Three, two, one, go. Push that back really flat. And try and get those knees into the floor, Lissy, for me. Keep pushing. Really good. Rubes, um, take your legs out a little bit. Yeah, and now tip your hips a little bit more so your bum's off the floor for me. Yeah, there you go. So really round that back. Push in for 10 more seconds, go. Nine. Eight, Lissy, knees harder. Seven, six, there you go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. We're going to roll over onto our belly. All right. And we're going to have our wristbands in our ears again. And we're going to be putting our hands against the wall. Really good that I like it against the wall, okay, because you can push against the wall, just like we would in our handstands. So Liz is gonna lift her chest and her belly off the floor, okay? And you can see there's a gap there, all right? And she's gonna hold that shape. If you can, Liz, get your knees off the floor as well for me. Push, yes, there you go. Excellent, Rubes, let's have a look at that. Chest in for me, ribs in, excellent. Okay, so relax a second, girls. So everyone get themselves ready for that shape. 
So we really want to concentrate on this. I don't want to see a bend in your back. So you want to think about your belly button being pulled up by a piece of string so that your back's not soggy. Okay, really, and then concentrate on our hips, chest in and hips flat. Okay, so we're ready for 30 seconds, everybody. In five, four, three, I'm just getting my clock, two, one, go. Perfect. So this is a really good exercise, again, if you're injured, everybody because you might not be able to go upside down, but you can always practice your handstand shapes and there's no impact, okay? So it's a really good exercise. If you can't do it lying down, you're probably not gonna be able to do it standing up or in a handstand or swinging around a bar. Remember, I should be focused on the wall at the moment because that's where our bar would be and that's where I like the head position to be on bars mainly. Three, two, one, relax. Good. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time, guys. So we're gonna flip it round onto our backs. And so relax for a second. And then when I say go, everybody, make the change. Yeah, so you're relaxed, you've got a really soggy shape, okay? And then you fix that shape, backs into the floor, hiding ears, tight knees and feet. Ready, three, two, one, go. Snap that shape. Push, 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 go on, listen more. If you need to bend your knees, yeah, you might be getting a little bit tired. Rube's excellent, keep that rib in. Keep holding that shape, very good. Keep holding it, point those toes as well, boys and girls. Keep holding, try not to fidget. It's a bit like the stretching. If we hold that shape, it'll stay in our brains. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. One more time onto our bellies. Hiding those ears again with the wristbands. So relax, soggy bodies. And in five, four, three, two, one, begin. Let's see those shapes, super. So you can see that I could run my hand under Lissy's chest and her tummy, okay? And that's a super, super shape. Good rubes, rubes remember that, a head position for me. Eyes looking at your hands, yes. Tummy, tum, try and get your tummy button up, Rubes, as well. Lift your belly up. Yeah, there you go. Now your knees and feet as well. Don't give in to that shape. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. Keep fighting for five, four, knees and feet, girls. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, you should have found that quite challenging. If you're just lying flat, that's okay to begin with. Just keep working on holding that shape. This has been doing it for quite a while. Yeah, and Ruby, they've been working for a long time to be able to do the work that they can do. Okay, so it's not going to be that easy. All right, we're going to try it standing up now, girls. So we're going to stand against the wall. We're still going to have the wristband in between our shoulders. And we're going to, if you're struggling, we're going to walk the feet out. So Rube, you're going to move your feet out a little bit so you're in a bit more of a dish shape. Lissy, you're going to try and do it as flat as you can, okay? Yeah, but I want your back on the wall, Ruby. I want your back on the wall for me. Yeah, because we're keeping that back really flat because we're engaging our core, all right? So if what by I mean, what I mean by engaging your core is your, your tummy muscles are working, all right? If they're not working, we won't get stronger, okay? All right, uh, wristbands in between our shoulders and our ears, and I want you to focus on your back of your hand against the wall. Can't quite see this is rude. Pull, yeah, you can see Ruby's back of your hand. I don't want your arms being lazy. Pull, 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 because it's a really good shoulder exercise as well. So, Ruby's try and get your elbows on the wall as well. We're going to hold that there. Hold it and open those shoulders, girls. Keep pulling, keep pulling and push those knees, Lissy. Let's hold it. So, we're looking for those beautiful shapes. Again, parents, picture moment, looking for that straight line, because this is what we're going to see when we're upside down. Let's hold that for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now, another good way of doing this, guys, is you could also do it on your tiptoes. Okay, so we're gonna try that this time. It is harder, so if you need to stay on flat feet, if you need to stay with your feet pushed out like Ruby, that's okay, all right? Remember, take these steps and you'll get better at it. At it. Okay, everybody ready? We're gonna do this for 20 seconds. It's quite a challenging exercise. Everybody, arms, shoulders, wristbands even. I'll get my words right in a minute. And go. So Lissy's right upon her tiptoes. 
and she's pushing those heels up against the wall. So push, 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 push those knees. Excellent. Pull those arms back, guys. Back of the hands onto the wall. Yeah, don't rotate the wrist. Pull so you're really extending those shoulders. Keep pushing up on those tiptoes. Squeeze that bottom and relax. Very good. So we're getting some calf work in there as well. And our toes would be pointed when we're in a handstand. So that's a good exercise. All right. Now we're going to change it to turn around for Melissa and put your hands on the wall. So we're going to go to our long tension. So we're going to have a slight incline in our handstand. So what I mean by that is you can see Lissy's body weight is slowly tipped. Okay. And she's finding it more challenging through her shoulders and her core. Excellent. Lissy, could you just change your camera a little bit to, ah, that's it. Oh, she's got someone on it now. <laughs> she's got a personal cameraman. Okay. Are we ready? We're going to hold this shape for 30 seconds. And yes, it is a long time. But if you hold it, you will get stronger. If you can't do it for 30 seconds, do it for 10 seconds, rest. 10 seconds, rest. 10 seconds. So you can build yourself up. All right. Can we remember our key points? Looking at our hands, tummy button on our backbone, and everything really tight. All right. Three, two, one. Begin. So nice and long. Good, go as far as you can to find it as challenging as you can. Rubes, get that chest in that little bit more for me. Remember the where those eyes are. Lissy, I reckon you can make that a little bit longer. So go a little bit flatter for me, make it a bit more challenging. So now it's working her core a little bit harder, but that's a fantastic shape. Well done, girls. Keep holding it there for 10 more seconds. Keep looking at those hands. And guys, have a think about your bar routine. Have a think about your bar skills where you're holding this shape and what you want to achieve. And relax. Okay, so it's a really good thing to do when you're upside down, when you're doing your handstand shapes, to visualize and think, well, actually, I want to look like Ruby Stacy doing that shap pack, shap, shap shoot, yeah? Make yourself think, oh, I want to do that Jaeger, all right? And it will help you motivate yourselves. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our knees. So this should make our core work even harder. It's going to be at that incline shape again and you want to pull your heels up to your bottom when you're doing this so we're going to have a quick look at this say pulling your heels up to our bottom chest in nice flat hips it is a challenging exercise so rubes i want you to do it a little bit higher so you're not so much of an incline okay Lissy, you're going to push yourself as far as you can into that shape okay rubes just make sure those shoulders are nice and open don't forget your wristbands guys ready we're going to hold this for 30 three two one, begin. Start in my clock. Pull those heels up to bottom. I really like this exercise, boys and girls, because we're working that hip extension. Some handstands, we've always got that bottom out. 0.3 from the judges. No, thank you. Open those hips. Tummy button on your spines. So imagine that piece of string. Keep pulling, Lissy. You've got 10 more seconds. Good, Ruby. So she's a little bit higher up, but she's still getting that fantastic shape. Really good. Keep holding that shape, nearly there, and relax. Well done, you should have found that exercise really challenging. If you didn't, you're a superstar. Okay, so we're gonna do our standing up one one more time for me. No, we're not, we're gonna go to, I've just looked at the time. We're gonna put our knees on the sofa or your stool now, okay? So it's just a different way of doing it. So if we watch Lissy, she's going to put her knees on the sofa, on the stool. Yep. And we're going to bend those knees. And we're going to walk our hands out and our chest is going to be in. Okay, so it's a bit more challenging because she's the other way up. So the weight's going through her shoulder a little bit more. And you can see she's got to work on that hip extension a little bit more that way. Um, Ruby, if you could you do it in a tuck, tuck handstand so she, you're not going far out like Lissy. Yep. So we're doing it like this, so that she's got a little bit shorter with her body, so her core's getting a little bit more help. Guys, what have we forgotten when we're doing this? Wristbands, wristbands are still in, because then we're always being reminded our shoulders should be into our ears. We don't want to see this baggy position. It's a really unstable position where we're going to be wiggly wobbling around, all right? So hide those ears. We want cooked, um, uncooked spaghetti, not cooked spaghetti. Ready? In three, two, one, begin. Walk those hands out, let's say perfect. Ruby, very good. Rubes, don't forget those toes. Point them up to the ceiling for me. Yeah. 
Good. Point hard, Alyssa. Excellent. Hold that shape. Really pull that chest in. Tummy button onto your backbone. Looking at your hands. So whatever position you're in, you should always be looking at your hands for me. Keep holding that position. Keep holding it there in five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now we're going to flip it around, okay? You won't be able to use the response to this exercise. We're going to do our back support. So we're working the back of our arms and our shoulders at the front here, okay? And we're also working our hip extension. So we don't want our bottoms close to the floor. We want to push our hips up to the ceiling as high as possible. I'm going to hold that shape for 30 seconds. In ready. Make sure we're all ready. In three, two, one. Go, push those hips up to the ceiling. I'm going to start my clock for 30 seconds. Excellent. So you can see those hips are really flat again. This is our handstand position, okay? With our hips flat, with our chest in and down, belly buttons pushing up to the ceiling, beautiful knees and toes. Always beautiful knees and toes. We want pretty gymnastics. Keep pushing, girls. Don't let those hips drop. Dig deep. 10 more seconds. Don't give in. Really feel those Shoulders working, your core working, your legs and feet working, and relax. Well done. Give your legs and arms a little shake. So that's a good exercise to do. Okay, what we're going to do now, okay, you've probably all done it before. We're going to do some caterpillars. So we're going to stand up, but we're still going to have wristbands. So we're going to get our wristbands again, Lissy and Ruby, for me. And our aim here, guys, is to walk out as far as we can. So see, Lissy, start, relax. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to walk on, Lissy. Walk out as far as we can, keeping our bottoms really still and trying to get our bellies as close to the floor as possible. And then we're going to walk our feet in, keeping our knees straight. And you can see that perfectly, her extension through our shoulders. Okay. And you can even get a pipe fold in there as well. And then you're going to turn around, Lissy. Okay. So we're going to do it all together now. So everyone stand up. Show me that big stretch. Stand up, Lissy. Stretch first of all, good rubes, open, don't, girls, don't cheat and do this, okay? I want the, um, the hands shoulder width apart, okay? Don't rest your hands on each other. And hands down to the floor, close as you can into your pike and walk out. Try not to wiggle, okay? Keeping your body tension, those arms nice and straight, eyes looking at hands, go low, go low, go low, hold it and walk your feet in. Tight knees and feet, squeeze, knees, 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 ribs. You went a bit too low then. <laughs> the mat slipped a bit. And stretch, Lissy, turn around. Let's go again. We're going to get five of these in. Ruby's just having to move the mat. Just be careful. Yeah, always make sure your surface is safe. Okay, if you need to change it up, that's fine. Okay, Lissy, off you go. Number two. So keep in time, walking those hands out. Keep those arms nice and straight. Go as far as you can, squeeze, and walk your feet in. Good. Ruby's back in the game. Keep those knees tight, pike fold, and stand up, arms to your ears, and turn around, and let's go for number three. Off we go. Keep concentrating on those shapes. Squeeze your back of your knees. It's very easy to get bendy knees. And walk your feet in. Knees, ribs, harder, 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 harder. Pike fold. So this is even managing to move her hands and lift our arms up. Keep the back nice and flat and turn around. We've got two more to do, everybody. Off we go. Number four. Good. Try not to let your bottoms wiggle. You can see Ruby and Lissy have got really good body tension. And walking the feet in. Really good, and stand up, and our last one. Off we go. So we're really practicing our hands down shape, okay? We're moving, so it's making it a bit more challenging, okay? And walking our feet in, good. Rubes, don't forget that head position, looking at your hands, and fold. Excellent, have a little breather. Give your arms a little shake because you should be feeling it in your shoulders now. Yeah, Lissy, Rubes, you're feeling it hard work in your shoulders. Thumbs up. Good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do it on our knees. Okay, the same exercise. We're only going to do it three times this time. Okay, so we're going to go onto our knees. Front support, not front support, all fours. 
Hands down. Yep. And we're going to walk our hands out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold your shape. Keep as far as you can. And then walk back in without falling. Go, 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 go. Hold that shape. Excellent. Okay, so everybody can join in now. Ready for number one. Off we go. Walk out. Keep that chest in. Keep those hips nice and flat. Hold that shape. And back in we go. Good. Remember, belly button's on your spine. Number two. Off we go. Walking out. Should be feeling those shoulders work. And back in we go. Hold that shape. Rubes, toes. Yes. And walk out. You can keep your feet on the floor or you can lift them up. Ruby's doing it a little bit harder by bending her legs. Lucy's got her feet on the floor. Either one is still a really hard exercise. And walking the feet back up. Very good, Ruby. All the way in and relax. Good. Give your arms a quick shake. All right, everybody just give those shoulders a little roll. Give them a little rest. All right. So we're going to move on to a few leg taps now, but just to give our arms a little rest. We've got one more exercise to do for our hands done work, but we're going to do our leg taps. So we want to get our water bottle, everybody. And we're going to sit in our pike shape. But we're going to split our legs. So you can see Liz's water bottle is by her ankles. And it's, there's a little gap either side. So her legs are in a really narrow straddle, really. Okay. What we're going to do, or we just get ourselves sorted. We are going to push our heels off the floor. Okay. And point our toes. So you can see Liz's extension is fantastic there. Her heels are off the floor. This is the aim. If you can't get those heels off the floor, it's something that we can really all work on. And we're going to lift our right leg up, touch our heel on the top of our water bottle and down. And then our left up touch and down and then we're going to lift both legs together up and down okay keeping those knees really really tight that's one and we're going to do 10 of them okay what i want you to do guys is keep your hands forwards if you lean back you you use your body to help you lift the legs and i really want you to work your core and your hip flexors here okay so it's a really challenging you can make it as hard as you like so your hands can be in front of your knees or they can be behind your knees, whatever ability you have. All right, everybody ready? If I say ready, your heels should pop off the floor. Okay, ready, ready, ready? Perfect. And right, left, together. Perfect, that's one. And two, right, left. Get those heels off the floor. Together, that's two. Very good. And right, left together that's three and right left together that's four keep squeezing and right and left and together that's five and right and left and together perfect that's six keep pushing guys seven let's go up right and left and together, and let's go eight, right, left, together, and nine, right, left, squeeze, together, push those knees, and 10, right, left, and this time when we go to together, we're gonna hold at the top for 10 seconds, pull off, slightly off that water bottle, one, push those knees, two, harder, three, four, climb roots, toes together, five, Six, keep squeezing, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Super, that should have been really challenging. Lissy's stretching out a little bit there, so she found it quite tough. Really good for our hip flexors. Okay, so we're going to put our feet both the one side of the water bottle now. And what we're going to do, keeping our, trying to keep our hands in front of our knees, we're going to lift our legs slightly off the floor, okay, and then we're going to lift over the water bottle and down and back over. Okay, we're going to do that 10 times. And your aim is not to touch the floor either side, but also keep the feet as low as possible. Okay, so you really want to make it challenging for yourself without resting. Okay, we're going to do that 10 times. Try and keep going. Okay, try not to go too high. You just want to keep them just above the water bottle each time. Okay, so if we're ready, remember those legs and feet are stretched as hard as we can. And let's go one, up and over. 
two, don't touch the floor, Rubes, three, keep them off, four, very good, five, squeeze those knees, six, seven, push those knees, eight, keep squeezing, nine, and 10, well done. And you can do more than one set of that, boys and girls, okay? So it's something you can take away, maybe three sets of 10. This is really gonna help our hip flexors for our, our half levers, which is what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna do our half lever hold, and we're gonna try and get our bottom in line with our elbows and our knees to our nose, okay? So we're squashing like that pancake shape again. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds, okay? If you can't, that's okay, keep, come down, go back up. Main focus is keeping our knees and feet nice and tight. Ready, you two? All right, ready then? If we're ready, what should I see happen? There we go. And up we go, high as we can for one, two, push those hips up, three, climb rooms higher, four, higher, five, six, seven, keep pushing, eight, nine, 10, well done. Okay, I want you to turn around now for me, Lissy, facing the wall. I'm going to give you a little exercise for your Russian levers. So we want to go in as close as possible to the wall. Yeah. Squash in, hands facing your bottom if you can. And we're going to lift the hips up off the wall. And I think you could go in a little bit closer there, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so just give you a couple of seconds to get close to that wall. All right, relax a second, let's see. So that's a perfect shape, okay? Remember those knees and toes. If you can't get close into the wall, that's okay. Start where Ruby is a little bit further out and build it up. Already, everyone ready. And up we go to the wall. Push up with those hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down and relax. So you should be feeling it in the back of your arms again, guys. So we're working, we're making those triceps work again. We're going to do that one more time, girls, just to make sure that everyone got there if they weren't there beforehand. Ready? Three, two, one. Up we go. For ten. Push, push, push. Hips high. Nine, eight, seven, six. Keep holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Super. All right. Find a space again then for me, guys. We're just going to finish um on our straddle even then we're going to go into our stretching to finish okay Lissy's arms are aching a little bit so we've just got our straddle lever when we're doing our straddle lever boys and girls i want you to focus on getting your feet in line with your shoulders and your bottom in line with your elbows okay so that's two things you can take away yeah feet in line with shoulders nice and high form up to elbows we'll see how well we get on with these two okay we're going to hold it for 10 seconds Remember when I say ready, I expect to see your heels pop off the floor. So you're showing that you're ready to go. And ready. And up we go for one, two, three. Pull those feet up. Four. Good. Heads up as well. Five, six, seven. Push up higher. Eight, nine, ten. So something we really want to focus on, boys and girls, is not resting our legs on our arms because it's making it easier. Okay. We really want to strengthen our shoulders. Okay, all right. We're gonna move on to our stretching to finish now, guys, because we've only got a few minutes left. So we're gonna go into right leg lunge for me, facing the camera, girls. Perfect. We're gonna sit up, sit up straight to start with. Sit up, yep. And look at the girls, hips are nice and in straight line. Okay, your, your hips are like headlights on a car, boys and girls. We don't want one headlight going this way and one headlight going this way because we won't be able to see anything. Both in a straight line. Okay, so this is a really important position that we can hold. Hips tucked under, tummy's tight. Now what we're going to do is fidget that front foot forwards a little bit and we're going to push our back thigh down to the floor. Try not to let your shoulders tip, okay? And try and do this, boys and girls, without your hands on the floor, okay? So you're engaging your core as well. And we're going to wriggle that front foot forwards a little bit more. And if you go down further enough, like Lissy, she's nearly using her hands to balance now. Good. Hold that position. Remember what I said about your stretching. Make sure you're holding it. And let's go a little bit further. So we're trying to straighten out that back thigh. Remember, guys, we don't need any, any um, we don't need to raise our leg on this one. This one is purely for keeping our hips in a straight line. If that's as far as you can go, you hold that position. You will get further. And can we go down a little bit further, Lissy? So that we go down to our splits. 
perfect. She's still got her knee slightly bent. Notice her back leg never moved. No, that's fine, this is straightened. Her back leg never moved. It was all about the front leg and the back leg staying extended. Perfect. What we're going to do, guys, we're going to lift our arms out to the side. We're going to squeeze our knees and feet. Again, it's that photo for opportunity. And we're going to hit our splits for 10 seconds. Beautiful fingers, chins up. Ready and stretch. For one, two, fabulous. Three, point that toe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and switch the leg back up to that lunge position. Hips under, hips nice and square, headlights, check yourself. If you're not sure, you can do it in front of a mirror. Hips tucked under, core really tight for me. And let's fidget that front foot forwards. Good, feeling that back thigh stretch. Shouldn't be rocking around, we should be holding that position. And fidget forwards a little bit more for me. Push that back thigh into the floor, really good. And a little bit further, fingers should be just about touching the floor now, guys, but notice that our shoulders haven't moved. We haven't lent forwards because that will stop the stretch in the back thigh. Keep moving forwards, girls. Very good, stop there, hold it, hold it, hold it. So ever so slightly off the floor, but that back thigh is getting a really good stretch. And down to split, so straightening that front leg out. Pulling back, excellent posture, good. And let's pull our arms out to the side. Stretch our fingers. Remember that's your leap when you're at the competition and that photographer is taking your picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic, okay. We're gonna sit in straddle now. So sideways on for me, guys. Yeah, and we're going to try and pull our hips into a straight line for our box splits. And when we're doing our box splits, I want you to think about your knees pointing to the ceiling and trying to get your baby toes to the floor behind you. So you're rotating the hips, okay? See that as we get older, it gets a bit more challenging. I bet some of you guys have got better box splits than Lissy and Ruby. Ruby, is that your box splits? So we may have problems with our groins and stuff. I think Ruby's got really stiff um, groins, which is okay. She has to stretch to where she needs to stretch, okay? She, if she pushes herself, she may cause herself an injury. So guys, go to where you can. Perfect. All right, I want you to put your chest on the floor now, guys, but I want you to go to squash frog position. Bend your knees. Excellent. So we try and get those hips flat. I do it with bent knees so that we can keep those hips really square because sometimes we have squiffy hips in our box splits, okay? Just gonna hold that for five, four, three, two, one, excellent, all right. Last thing then, we just need to stretch those shoulders, okay? Um, so we're gonna go up to our bridges. If you can do it against the wall, that'd be perfect because we want to try and get those shoulders against the wall. And we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Try not to fidget, try and have your legs straight and your feet together. Ready, up we go. Push your legs straight for one, two, keep pushing, three, four, move your hands out a little bit, Ruby, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super, come down, rock backs and forwards. And what I like to do to finish is we're just going to do beautiful legs and feet. So we're going to sit in pike facing the camera, girls. We're going to pull our heels off the floor for ten seconds. Pull them, grab and pull. We're going to hop, let go of them and hold them there for 10 seconds. Let go, Lissy. Yep. And then we're going to stretch our knees and our feet and sit up beautifully for 10 seconds. And it's really working trying to get those heels off the floor. Okay. Arms out to the side as well, Lissy. Ready? This is our last bit of the day, guys. Pull those heels up for one. Pull them up hard. Two. Back of the knees into the floor. Three. Push them. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10 and keep them off the floor now. Sit up with a nice posture for 10, nine, eight, toes together, seven, pull, 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 six, five, four, three, two, one. Now point and stretch. Beautiful, chins up, one, pull, 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 two, stretch your wrist, three, pull the shoulders harder, girls, four, shoulder blades together, five, six, seven, point those toes, eight, nine, 10. And relax, give your legs a shake, girls. Give him a shake, give him a shake. Very good. 
Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the session. I probably could have gone on for another hour, but I need to stop. So back to you, Joe. Thank you, Jodie. I want to just, on behalf of the nation, thanks for giving us another great Quattro quarantine workout. Um, and thank you as well to Lissy and Ruby for being part of that. I'm sure Jodie couldn't have done that without you. And I'm sure you were a massive help to all the boys and girls practicing at home to making sure they were in the correct body positions and doing the workouts as they should be. What Jodie has provided you all with is some fantastic skills and conditioning that you can keep on working at home to make sure you keep fit your body tones so when you get back into the gym you haven't lost too much strength um, and body core positioning really so thank you Jodie I'm sure there's going to be lots of aching bodies up and down the country tomorrow <laughs> um, and make sure you send in lots of photos hashtag in QQW as we will be giving you another spot prize later today so once again thank you so much Jodie, Lissy and Ruby you've been absolutely fantastic and I'm sure everyone's really enjoyed doing this with you today and just a reminder, we've got another workout on Friday with Bernadette. So it's going to be choreography so you can dance into the weekend. So thank mm. you all, ladies. It's been a pleasure having you with us today. And we hope everybody enjoyed the workout. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.